Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to lesson 28 in the Intermediate Algebra series. In this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining set builder notation. So here's a set that uses set builder notation. So basically we have this vertical line here, and then the information that's on the left-hand side of the vertical line is an arbitrary name for an element. So if you look at the right-hand side, this shows the conditions for an arbitrary element to be part of our set. So the right hand side says that all of the elements that are greater than the value 2 are included in our set. So if we were to draw this on a number line, we could put the number 0 here, the number 1, 2, 3, 4, and this just keeps on going off into positive infinity then the first step we would take is we would shade in all of the values that are greater than the value 2. And then we'll put a little arrow here to show that all the numbers that go on in that direction are also included in our set. And so now at the value 2 we need to make a decision. There's two choices. We can either put a half circle here or a square bracket. So one of these choices is right and one of these choices is wrong. So let me show you when you want to use each of these. So we use the half circle when we're dealing with a less than sign or if we're dealing with a greater than sign. We use the square bracket when we're dealing with the less than or equal to sign or the greater than or equal to sign. So in this case we're just dealing with the greater than sign so we use the half circle. So now looking at the graph here, this represents the set that contains all numbers greater than the number 2, but not including the number 2. So what about this set over here? Let's draw another set here. So we've got x, our vertical line, another x, and then we'll do less than or equal to the value negative 1. So let's draw that on a number line here. So in this case, I'm going to put my 0 over here, and this will be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So we'll just put our negative 1 here. And so the first step is to simply shade in all the values that are less than negative 1. We'll put a little arrow here to show that all the values that go in that direction are also included. And now we look at the this inequality sign and this time we have a less than or equal to sign so we want to use the square bracket now this time we're going to just flip this around we want the points of the square bracket to point in the direction that our set is traveling so we're just going to write it this way here so now looking at this graph tells us that our set includes all the numbers that are less than the value negative one and also it includes the value negative 1 itself. So less than or equal to the value negative 1 is in this set right here. So this was an introduction to set builder notation. I'll be doing some more tutorials on taking unions and intersections of um, sets that use set builder notation, so stay tuned for those video tutorials. You guys have an excellent day, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.